Hello and thanks for watching. This video is about using the compass in the Tiger Moth aircraft. Now first off in the 2020 model it's quite difficult to see the compass because you're looking at a bit of an angle you don't quite sort of see inside it. Now you can press F9 to go to your IFR view to look down on it a bit more uh, or it might also be worth setting up a custom view something like that that just helps you to zoom in and to read the numbers at the front of it. So it works in exactly the same way as a little pocket compass that you'd use for hiking. There's a needle that always points to magnetic north and there's a bezel on top that you can rotate to set the course that you want to travel in. So in this compass we see uh, three elements. First of all there's an outer ring called a bezel with numbers on it and that can be rotated. You can also lock it with this lever to prevent it moving. Then there's a small white mark at the front called a lubber line. That always points forward in your aircraft so that's the line that we would use to set the course we want to travel on. And lastly there's a wire cross inside which I think moves in a bath of alcohol. One point on the cross has a smaller cross inside it and that always points to magnetic north. The part that will then always face south has a long white mark on it and east and west have two short marks. The bezel on top has a wire cross on it and three limbs of that have been picked out in white paint. And the idea is you simply turn the aircraft so that the little cross on the magnetic needle lines up with north on the bezel and then you're traveling in the heading that you want. So let's say we want to travel on a heading of 250. You rotate the bezel by clicking on it and moving your mouse to the left and right. You can lock the bezel if you want. And then if I just taxi and turn the aircraft you can see the wire, I think they call it a spider, you can see the wire cross rotating around. Now obviously we're not looking straight down on the compass so you can't actually see when the north-south bit is lined up with the bezel. You have to allow for the parallax and simply wait until those lines are parallel to each other and when they're parallel they must be lined up. Now one really good thing about this compass is because we've got four markings on the pointer for circuit work it's really handy because you can just simply turn the aircraft until you see the next marker come round to the right heading and I'll show you what I mean by that now. Now we're on the ground at Bristol Airport in the UK and the runway heading is 267 degrees. So I'm going to rotate the bezel until 267 lines up with the lubber line and then I'm going to lock that.
So I'm maintaining my heading by keeping this little white mark lined up in this part of the T. OK, I'm ready to make a turn now. So I'm going to look to the left and find my target, this bit of the hill. I'm going to turn. Until I see this bit of the hill coming round. Then I'm going to level wings and then check my compass. I haven't just haven't quite turned far enough, so this is the next white mark. There we go. That is now lined up in this part of the T. OK, next turn coming up. So it's going to be well to the left of that reservoir. That's roughly right. Now I'm going to look at my compass. Yeah, was slightly off. So a little bit more. There we go. So now this white mark is lining up with this bit of the T and this part of the pointer is parallel to that wire there. So we should now be parallel to the runway, which we are. And then you just do exactly the same thing for the base turn. So there we are. It's actually a really handy compass for circuit work and it's... um actually pretty easy to use because you've only got to do one thing on it. Cool. There we are. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.